Hello, Monsters Abound here, literally the best Total War player ever. Did you see me in the Invitational? No, of course not. I wasn't invited. I'm too good. I'd make everyone else look bad with just how good I actually am. They want it to be a competition, not a slaughter. But despite my utterly amazing skills, some doubt my abilities. The fools. Every move I make, every breath I take, is all carefully calculated and planned. I'm constantly poised like a muscular oiled puma ready to leap into action and perform the optimal strategy. Sometimes my plans are so smart that it looks like I'm blatantly incompetent and have no idea what I'm doing. But looks can be deceiving. Ah, however, someone has pointed out that I, I haven't actually cancelled my... I only parlay with those who serve the great necromancer. Well... That's bollocks, Arkan, and you know it. Um, I haven't cancelled my trip, but it's all part of the Master Stratagem. Hmm. That's the reason I haven't cancelled we'll cancel that now. Good. Okay, fine. Uh, so that's done. We've got Tweedledum and Tweedledee, otherwise known as or Porridge with Apple Sauce and Honey Smacks, currently heading down to beat up Arkan. Uh, Krokgar resettled Al, Al Hike just what before Baron Thegan could, could reach it. Uh, I did notice that Thuck Skullson down here is very much an artillery nerd uh, because his army is pretty much all artillery. And we've also got Cholai who is facing off against an army of five fucking hell cannons. I'm hoping that Cholai being stood there will be enough to make them go, you know what, I don't fancy fighting that and go off and beat up the dwarves instead because I don't want to fight five hell cannons. One's bad enough. Oatmeal. I keep meaning to sort of bring you down. Not not bring you down, but to bring you south so that you can link up. And to be honest, there's not much you can do over here because Tretch is currently under siege. So Tretch is probably going to go good night. Uh, that's all she wrote for Tretch. So let's bring you back south. It's going to take you a little while. But you do have a stake on, so we could potentially put you on another army. People keep asking me to use the right of primeval glory. Now, okay, I will. However, the reason I haven't used it is because it costs a shit ton of money. Plus, it it creates an army which is obviously consumes upkeep. Um, and it also spawns it at your capital, which for us is all the way down here, right in the corner of the map, which means to get it into... I mean, I don't quite know how long it would take to actually get... Uh, the army sort of in, in somewhere where it could actually do something but I'm going to assume something like 10 to 15 turns so effectively I'll be paying upkeep on an army for 10 to 15 turns just to get it into a location where it'll be useful so the reason I haven't used it is basically because A it either cost too much I didn't have the money or B because it was basically pointless but seen as people apparently really want me to spawn an army of dinosaurs fucking miles away I will do it because I'm a people pleaser Talking of pe pleasing people. Rice Krispies, Archon is currently sat. He's recruiting units. Rice Krispies, stop him. You failed. I don't know what I expected, to be honest. Don't know what I expected. Uh, right, okay, well, I guess we're just going to end the turn then. We've got a little, a little skink, skink team with uh, Tweedledee and Tweedledum. I, I like to think that, that Tweedledee and Tweedledum are literally just floating. They, they don't really care. They're just floating along. And uh, they just have a skink, like, little little rope tied to the throne, and they're just, like, dragging them along with the rest of the army, while Tweedledee and Tweedledum just mutter to themselves about random bollocks. And they just get, like, shunt. They just get pushed. There's no inertia. So at the start of the battle, the skink just pushes them, and they sort of float into combat. You know what? I, Chaos are doing a lot better than I, I thought they would, to be honest. I thought they were going to get crushed pretty quickly, but uh, the forces of good, apparently, as is tradition, completely fucking stupid. Oh, and Clan Rictus is dead. Finally. 
Stretch, he, he was a survivor, wasn't he? He was re he he held on with both claws. He did not want to go down without a fight. Talking of not going down without, without a fight, Clan Pestilence still going. At this rate, we might I might have to send an army north to deal with Archeon. I need I need a Dino D Day, so we need to deal with Archon. Dino D-Day into Lustria, deal with Skrulk, and then I'm probably going to have to send an army north to deal with Archeon, because I'm going to be honest, they don't... Oh, good, they're buggering off. Excellent, that's it, go away. No, not Stone Might, no, piss off. Okay, Clan Rectus, uh, we've completed that, so we've got a Blessed Stegid on. Should we, should we want it? That's very nice. Get one of them. Uh, you lads, you can just sort of, like, poodle over here. Doop, 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 doop. That's it, over there. Okay. And we're just going to basically surround them with skinks. Or bury them with skinks. Coco Pops, you're level 9. Uh, you've got piercing shots, you've got replenished troops. Is there anything else useful? Well, just to get precise, I guess, when you get your Stegid on, would be my. My thinking, crop guard. I think if we just give you one more turn of replenishment, you should be fine. Uh, I do want you ready to. Go. If I leave this chaos army, I guarantee it will land at Stone Mine Tower. Chill you going go and go and hunt them down. And okay, see, seen as people really wanted it. Okay, so we spawned. Spawned an army, there we go. Uh, how much is that costing me? Oh, it's not actually as bad as I thought it would be. I mean, it's not brilliant, but it's not as bad as I thought it would be. Uh, right, okay, so let's move you guys. All right, how long is it going to take you to get into... Right, okay, so that... Ooh, bloody hell. Right, so that's one, two... We are marching, yes. One, two, three, four, five, just to get there. Call that... 10 15 so let's let's say about 15 to 20 turns before they actually get into into, into range and i'm probably going to want to, to we can't even what do you, you don't even have any traits like you're you're literally i mean is this a is this like it's like a normal army except the lord that has literally no no traits a bit weird. Okay, good. And um, we can summon feral cold ones, which is actually if we can hunt down spawning feral cold ones on top of hell cannons does does hold a certain appeal to me. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. Okay. How long do we have feral cold ones for? Uh, fifteen turns. Holy tits! That's quite a long time. That's quite good. Uh, Rice Krispies, you can you stop Archeon? <gasps> Holy shit, you did it. Good job. I mean, he hasn't moved in fucking ages, but good job. Good bloody job. He's got more Chaos Warriors, more Chaos Knights, but, you know, he, at least he's not going anywhere. For the, he probably wasn't planning to, but he's not. He's definitely not going anywhere. Volgar Gut Bob. He's currently moving up. He has got a whole bunch of great swords. Will he deal with Archeon? Probably not, from experience. And there's Supreme Patriarch Boris Toddbringer. Who has absolutely no magical ability, but has apparently been named Supreme Patriarch, which just goes to show that Karl Franz is, should really not be in charge of an empire. He is not a good... And he's lost Altdorf as well, to the Wood Elves, of all people. Good job, Karl. Good bloody job. Uh, right, Alhike, we definitely want to upgrade that. So we want to get the port there. That's all good. Uh, is there anything else we want to do? We definitely do want to upgrade this with floating gardens because obviously we're going to get a lot of corruption at the Black Pyramid once we've built the, the Vault of Nagash. Deep inside the Pyramid of Nagash is said to be a vault cursed with undead magic by the fabled necromancer himself. Only very few know what secrets it truly holds. Ooh, it's spoopy.
Very, very spoopy. Uh, right, so... It looks like, when I was checking, the High Elves appear to be trying to invade Norska now. They finished off... Um, Nagron. They, they finished off Mal Malekith and Mar Marathi and Hellebron. They're all dead. Uh, now they seem to be trying to invade Norska. So that's at Middenheim is, is gone. Um, so that appears to be the next move for the High Elves, which is an interesting move. I've killed many warm bloods like you before. Hello, Ryan. How you doing, buddy? How's it going? Military access. Um, sure. Don't think either you or I are going to military access any, you know, either of us. It's not going to happen, but it's nice to have it in place. Ah, oh, the, the poor Bretonians. They really are struggling, aren't they? They've, they've, they've got the rough end of the stick with the beastmen there. Deeply unfortunate. Incidentally, the Invitational should be going on as you watch this, assuming you watch it on when it's released. If you're watching it three months from when it was released, it, the, the invita well, the Invitational might be going on, but that would be purely coincidental. It wouldn't actually be because it's on at the moment. But if you are watching this uh, on the Sunday when it's released, then it, it is the Invitational, in which case, go watch it, because it's great. They've got, they've got um, Pirate Coast factions fighting, so you get to see them in action. They look very strong, so definitely go and watch that. It's on the Total War Twitch. Talking of uh, Vampire Coast, they have been destroyed, so, uh, awkward. Although it's not the it's not the proper Vampire Coast, it's just the Vampire Count's Vampire Coast faction. Okay, so, right, they've been dealt with, which means we are one step closer to victory. So, we just need to control the Vampire Coast. Is that not entirely under control? Oh, it's because you guys have it. Are your old ones reptiles? Well, they've, they've gone, haven't they? I mean, did no one tell you? Okay, get a military alliance. Yes. Thank you. Okay, tick. So, we just need the Southern Great Jungles and the Headhunter Jungles under our control and to destroy Clan Pestilence. And the good thing is that, um, actually, they, they're under control of Clan Pestilence. So if we wipe Clan Pestilence out, we will get those two. So basically, we just need to destroy Clan Pestilence. That's the thing we need to do. However, oh, tits. I knew they'd be here. Come here, you little buggers. I'm going to rough you up. We've got feral cold ones. So we should be. I should be able to spawn them directly on the Hell Cannons, and that'll be brilliant. There we go, you guys over there. Ricicles. Can we... Can, we, can you wound? Success. Nice work. Okay, do we want to... Okay, let's do the attack next turn because we can take Balalid and El Kalabad at the same time. So that's what we're going to do. So let's move all you guys up. I'm just going to float menacingly nearby, just outside the city. Just bobbing up and down. Glaring. Ooh. Chilling stuff. Rice Krispies, can you... No, you failed again. Well, you know, you know it's, uh, it's a thing. How's, a, how's Prague doing? It's very chaosy around here. Oh, dear. And Arca Archeon is almost up to full strength once again. Oh, dear. And it looks like uh, Prince Sigvold and Kolek have gone their separate ways. They've, I don't know whether maybe... Sigvald will follow Kolek. I think maybe Sigvald was the one that raised the settlement so we can't move again. And I think Kolek then wandered off. Uh, but it looks like Durthu's here. Is there going to be a bit of a clash between Durthu and, and Kolek? Ooh. It'd be quite fun to watch, but unfortunately we won't be able to. Uh, Ricicles, you, my friend, are going to wound. Did you actually kill him? I've forgotten. You did. Oh yeah, good job. I wasn't paying attention. Uh, Rice Krispies, you can have... Uh, you can cleanse corruption. It's not going to have much effect, I'll be honest, considering we've got our... So currently, Chaos Corruption is 36 from characters, and we're reducing it by 5. So a little bit out of balance there, but at least we're doing our best. You know, we're trying. That's the main thing. You have this uh, Beastman army over there. We need to deal with that. In Zidip is is heading up. 
we could probably get him some more units, couldn't we? Maybe I want to get... Do I just get him more dinosaurs? Do I just have an entire... Do I, do I literally have dino squad? Entire horde of just dinosaurs. I'm not sure how effective that would be. It'd be quite fun to watch. It would be excellent as reinforcements, but probably not a very good sort of balanced balanced force. Oh, Sigfall just kicked the shit out of that guy. No! No, Rice Krispies! You only managed to block Archeon once and then you died. Well, you were wounded. Tamar Rune Oh, Tamar! Yeah, of course I remember Tamar. Tamar Rune Smasher. Hello, Luon. How are you? I will not kill you yet. That's that's nice. Uh, you want a trade agreement, which I'll say yes to. Why not? May as well. Now, the only problem I feel like for the Norskans is that if they're all sort of down here, they're not defending themselves from the, the High Elves, who are probably currently sailing across the... The straits over there. Now I have to double check and see what actually what they're up to. I don't actually know what the high I mean, last time I checked they were landing in Norska, but they might have changed their mind. I don't know, elves. What you, what you gonna do, eh? Are we going to see an offensive from Master Mundi? Oh, hello, Arkan. What do you want? A trade agreement? No, I've literally just cancelled it, and it's basically because I want to kill you, buddy. That's what I'm going to be doing. Going to be stabbing you quite, quite heavily. Quite a large amount of stabbing is about to happen. Oh, oh, I've, I've come on as a go. Are we? Okay, we took a little bit of damage from attrition, but it's okay. We do have Feral Cold ones. They may prove incredibly useful against these Hell Cannons. What do they need five Hell Cannons for? What possible reason? It's just... It's not cricket. Is it? Five bloody hell cannons. Jesus. Uh, so I've pulled back thinking that if I do that, I might be able to... Well, the plan was I send Cholo up ahead to be target practice, basically. He's going to he's gonna try and get shot at. Meanwhile, the horned ones are moving around on the right flank there. As you can see, they're already drawing off some of the units. My hope was that the hell cannons would continue to would start firing at Cholai. And the rest of the army would then continue moving on, which means I could then spawn the, the Feral Cold ones, and the Feral Bolt Cold ones could eat the Chaos Dwarves, and everyone would be happy, apart from the Chaos Dwarves, of course, but who cares about them? Unfortunately, the AI is not doing that. As you can see, Cho lies very much in range, and they don't give a shit. They're still advancing, which is a problem. So basically, I'm going to have to charge. Because the Chaos Warriors seem to be quite happy to sit back under the watchful eye of their five fucking hell cannons. Thanks very much, guys. See, we're opening fire on the giant. Actually, that... Stampy Stacy getting shit done. Look at that. Horned One's continuing to just manoeuvre around, so we've pulled some of their infantry. Now, obviously, infantry quite a lot slower than our Horned Ones, which means we've managed to pull these far, four units of Chaos Warriors away from the main force and now we can flank around and hit the Hell Cannons in the rear. We've used the, um, what was it, the, the Holy Stella. Stella? Stella? Sound like a lager. Uh, the Holy Stella uh, to try and make them a little bit less accurate. I don't know how it kind of works with Hell Cannons. They have actually started firing at Cho Lai, which is good. But unfortunately, the rest of the army is sort of hanging back too much. We've thrown in the Feral Cold Bonds just to try and stop them from firing a little bit. So, we're eating the Chaos Dwarves. Unfortunately, the trolls have moved in to intercept. But we are slowing their fire down. They're not, they're not, quite as, uh, they're not firing quite as, as often as they should be, which is good. 
We've got some Chaos Warriors with Halbards there. We've got some Chaos Warrior, uh, some Chosen, sorry. Little Fireball there. Doing quite good damage. 12 kills with that. It's a good Fireball. This is free Fireball as well. Good Fireballs. Now advancing, St uh, Stampy Stacy. Charging in against the Kale Spawn, doing horrendous damage, knocking them all over. The feral, uh, feral cold ones have been basically eaten alive, but uh, here come the horned ones, having given the Chaos Warriors the slip, including a unit of Chaos Knights. They're now coming in. We've got some Chaos Warriors trying to slow us down. They're not going to work yet. Yeah, they're, they're going all over the place, and we're just running amok in amongst the Hell Cannons now, shutting them down, making sure they can't do any more damage. Unfortunately, the Chaos Knights were chasing after us, so this unit of Horned Ones has been thrown into combat to just try and slow them down. I didn't want to get bogged into combat, especially with these units of Hellbards advancing very quickly. Got stuck in, Croxagall sending Chaos Warriors and Chosen flying. Stampy Stacy getting stuck in there, very good. Cholai has beaten up the, the Chaos is a Sorcerer Lord and he decided to go and try and fight Cholai which was a terrible mistake on his part and it's not going very well for him take a little tail whip there that's super effective and a little little bum stamp jump stomp I don't know what that was but it's uh, it's pretty nasty he's off Chaos Giant Gone Graham's dealt with him he's given a little poke up the bottom send him on his way being chased down he shouldn't get away the Temple Guard and Croxagall on our left flank have driven off the Chaos Warriors there and the Hell Cannons have been shut down by the Horned Ones and finished off. There we go. Unfortunately this unit of Horned Ones had, that was fighting the Chaos Knights has been decimated even though more than 10% of them were killed. Uh, but we have thrown in some more Feral Cold Ones and the Horned Ones are now moving in to try and assist. Unfortunately, the Hellbards actually gave us, just wandered off. So that's good, because the Hellbards would have probably finished off this unit of Horned Ones. The Horned Ones have managed to get away with only seven of their number. But here come the rest of their Horned One comrades. Sending Chaos Warriors absolutely flying. Enemy Lord is down, and their leadership is going to start to fall apart. And they're now fleeing for their lives. However, as they attacked us, we're going to try and make sure that we kill as many as possible. So that we have a nice, easy follow-up battle. So the Horned Ones are going to chase them down and eat as many as possible. There we go. Good job, guys. That was good, weren't it? And that's all those hell cannons dead, which is the the main thing. Could kill and eat. Um, punishment. Well, well, with that army dead, probably don't have to worry too much about replenishment. So let's maybe just go for the little experience boost. Let's do that. So he's going to run away. We should be able to easily defeat him. Uh, oh, apparently the, the College of Pyrotechnics has declared war on us. Oh, they are all the way over there, so I'm not overly concerned. Uh, it looks like we've acquired the Divine Plaque of Protection. The Shield of the Old Ones grows more powerful under the influence of this growing plaque. Uh, good. Ward save, missile resistance, research rate, and untakeness. That's interesting. So it's an enchanted item. Hmm. Huh. Quite nice, actually. Okay, good. And a carn carnivorous horticulturalist uh, temple architect. Okay. Sigma forbids this. I don't quite... Who invited you? Clan Pestilence. Oh. Okay. Time with petty talk. Make your offer and be done. I mean, I'm, I'm going to be honest. I'm not overly concerned right this minute. Um, uh, you know, it's fine. It's fine. I just... Not, no issue. Not an issue. Right, so. Cholai, what? You've got the war drums of Zaltek. Okay, so maybe. 
Lord Porridge, what have you got? I've got a potion of healing. Let's give you the Divine Plaque of Protection instead. Let's do that. What about hand weapons? We have no hand weapons to hand out. Uh, you could have the have the Opal Amulet. And I don't. I mean, to be honest, you shouldn't. I mean, I know you guys like getting into combat, but you you shouldn't really be getting into combat. But I, it does happen. Uh, right. Let's have the Cassandora because I like that. I like dropping comets on people's heads. It's just a thing that I enjoy. Do I want to give you a coal? I mean, eventually we're going to have to give you a coal bomb for a Carnosaur, but do I want to do that now? I feel like you're better on foot. So let's just go with Blade Mastery then. Just give you guys a little bit more melee attack. Seems pretty good. Okay, fantastic. Okay, we're poised. Poised to uh, invade Arkhan. Let's have piercing shots. That's going to be fine. Corn flakes. You can have Blade Master. Sure. Going to. Yeah, he's going to run away like a little, little chaos bitch. Ventress. Dead, dead Tress. More like. Let's get some more experience. Why not? And Cholize a campaigner. So more campaign movement range. That's very nice. Puppets of chaos have been defeated. We've got the the curse charm of. Teapok, which increases miscast chance would be fine if we ever fought many enemy casters, and to be honest we don't generally. Cholai, you have leveled up again. Uh, what do I think? What am I thinking? What am I thinking? What am I thinking? Oh, I just feel like, let's make you an enforcer of order. Let's do that. I like that. Okay, now we've dealt with that little problem. Cholai, you can move south again. Sort that out. And we are ready to invade. Pfft, active treachery. Bah, who cares? Uh, I won't call my allies to help. See if I care. If, I, if this screws me over, it's not my fault. Occupy. The maiming shield. Ooh, okay. Uh, so we've got that one. Let's invade El Kebab. Sora's of that one. Nice and easy. Uh, let's just occupy that one. Cupped hands of the old ones. A sphere of glowing light extends around the bearer as divine protection of the old ones deflects the uncontrolled maelstrom of magic. Well. Well, I never. How exciting. Uh, Cinnabar, let's get that. Got the gold mine, that's good. We could get the stone marker, that'll be fine. Who's got the skill? Oh, Cheerios and milk. Cheerios and milk. That classic combo. You've got all the... Okay, you can just assassinate people then. You can just assassinate people, I'll hike. You can have uh, salt, because that's, that's good. And we're going to hinder replenishments for no real reason over there. I'm sure people are going to be absolutely hopping mad. That's how I've just ruined my reputation again. But it's fine. I don't care. Worst case, we kill everyone. I mean, that, that is worst case scenario. That is very much if things go really tits up. I'm fairly sure that the AI is going to be okay with my untrustworthiness. They just won't give me any additional stuff. But they and they, they probably wouldn't declare war on me. They, well, they might declare... Well... Mm, mm, I, well, I mean, to be honest, it's a big love-in, so I don't think anyone's going to hate me enough to actually declare war and then bring in their allies, so I think we're probably okay. Probably. I did say probably. Um, and on that bombshell, that's where I'm going to leave it for this episode, so thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you next time.